Lexus Sport Yacht. You're looking at an experimental sports yacht that proves the Lexus signature design can be applied even to a watercraft. For the designers, working on it was an interesting challenge. They already knew how to ensure the highest level of luxury and comfort in a car, but this time they had to consider the many details of a yacht. What did they get in the end then? An open sports boat, which can accommodate up to eight people. The exceptional appearance was achieved thanks to an almost seamless design. The main material is CFRP, which makes the boat significantly lighter. If the same model had been made of fiberglass reinforced plastic, it would have been heavier by about a ton. Specialists guarantee excellent handling and increased stability at high speeds thanks to the stepped underwater hull design. Two V8 petrol engines deliver over 440 horsepower and accelerate the yacht to 43 knots. This is almost 80 kilometers per hour. Arrow 460 Gran Turismo when one of the most famous car companies in the world decides to create a boat, it's not surprising that the final result looks a bit like a car. The company announced their plans to build this amazing yacht in 2012. It was then during the Monaco Yacht Show that Mercedes-Benz and British yacht builder Silver Arrows Marine shared their plans for collaboration. It took four years for the concept to finally become a real yacht. The result, however, it was totally worth the wait. The Arrow 460 Gran Turismo is a 14-meter-long yacht that comfortably accommodates 10 people on board. The main features are a truly memorable design, extremely streamlined forms, a spacious lounge, and a big cabin, as well as a luxurious bathroom. The interior is finished with eucalyptus wood. The yacht is powered by two Yanmar engines with a total capacity of 440 horsepower. Thanks to them, the yacht accelerates to 38 knots, which is about 70 kilometers per hour. The price at the time of launch started at $1.7 million. Aston Martin AM37 the vehicle you see on the screen is the first attempt by the famous English car maker to take a step towards the mass production of watercraft. Considering that Aston Martin is famous for its prestigious cars all over the world, it's no wonder that their boat was developed with the utmost care. After two years of continuous research and development, the Aston Martin AM37 made its debut at the Monaco Yacht Show in 2016. The same people who designed the 177, the Vulcan, and the DB11 worked on this vehicle. The length of the boat is just over 11 meters. Its top speed is 50 knots, which is almost 93 kilometers per hour. The boat is equipped with a movable roof and a modern, powerful onboard computer. On the inside, it has everything you might need for a comfortable life, including air conditioners, entertainment systems, refrigerators, and even espresso machines. There are two versions available, 430 and 520 horsepower. Their prices range from $1.64 million to $2.1 million, respectively. Jaguar Vector V20e The next watercraft designed by an automaker is a national and world record holder. In 2018, this electric motorboat reached an incredible speed of 142.6 km per hour on a 1 km stretch at Coniston Water Lake in the UK. Prior to this event, the record speed in that distance was 123.5 km per hour. Two 299 horsepower engines, as well as many years of research, development, and improvement, helped make the impossible possible. Although nothing else is known about the Vector V20e, it's safe to say that Jaguar specialists were able to make a bold statement and show us all the impressive future of the water racing industry. Ferrari Riva 32 
Let's not forget where it all started. The car brands that we've mentioned today started working on elite watercraft relatively recently. Meanwhile, Ferrari had already manufactured high-speed boats in the late 80s. The vintage vessel you see on screen is the result of a great collaboration by Ferrari and the Italian ship manufacturer Cantieri Riva. The model has the signature bright red paintwork of Ferrari, and its sporty temper is highlighted by a carbon fiber spoiler placed directly above the heads of the passengers. Inside, there are two 8-liter BPM Volcano 400 V8 engines with 390 horsepower. The maximum speed is also very impressive, about 100 km per hour. The interior design is rather modest. Partly, that explains the price, $180,000. Only 40 copies of the Ferrari Riva 32 exist in the world, by the way. Fearless 28 Although Porsche's specialists only worked on the appearance of this yacht, it certainly deserves our attention. If only because Time Magazine has included the Fearless 28 in its The Style and Design 100 list. It includes objects as well as designers who have made the world a better place. So what is the Fearless 28? It's a very ambitious yacht. It delivers 550 horsepower, is 8.4 meters long, and can accelerate to almost 130 kilometers per hour. The exterior design is completely open. As you can see, there is no wheelhouse, but an open cockpit instead, which is located in the middle part of the V-hull. The Maserati Multi-70 In front of you is an amazing high-tech trimaran designed to conquer the sea. It was designed especially for the famous Italian yachtsman Giovanni Soldini. In 2016, he participated with this vessel in prestigious international competitions, such as the Rolex Middle Sea Race and the ROC Transatlantic Race, winning the latter. His team managed to overcome 5,556 kilometers in 6 days, 18 hours, 54 minutes and 34 seconds. Of course, it would not have been possible without a trimaran that can reach speeds above 40 knots, which is 74 kilometers per hour. The BMW 507 If there are any car fans among you, you're probably surprised right now. Of course, the BMW 507 is an amazing car that was produced by the company in West Germany from 1956 to 1959. But you heard us right, because the BMW 507 we're talking about is a high-speed experimental boat created in the 50s in one single copy. For many decades, the boat was considered lost, then it was found by accident, and of course, it was restored. The BMW 507 has a lot in common with the car, not just its name. They share some of the same internal components, including the 150 horsepower BMW OHV V8 engine. Lamboat Last but not least, here's a surprising vessel. This boat looks like it was assembled by a huge team of qualified specialists, but it was actually built by just one person. Yes, the Lamb Boat is a waterborne Lamborghini, but the brand had nothing to do with its creation. The idea belongs to a man named Gino. He did all the work alone, and it took him one year to do it. The exterior and interior parts of the boat match those of the car, from the headlights to the dashboard and the steering wheel. Meanwhile, the boat's price is almost twice that price of the car, about $1.5 million. The Lamboat can deliver 2,700 horsepower, which seems almost impossible. The maximum speed is also impressive, 305 kilometers per hour.